What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, episode 4, Dino Tune in the LO206. I need to start off by apologizing, in the first episode I lied to you guys when I said this was going to be an engine just for the channel, because this last weekend we decided that we were going to enter the senior LO206 class. As you can see here, got the engine all mounted up on the cart. But unfortunately, the weekend didn't go as planned. Essentially, I didn't have a plan. We threw things together last minute, um, dropped the cart on the track race day, and it was basically a disaster. Essentially, every time my son went out on the track, he'd go out, do about a lap and a half, and the cart would stumble and die. Um, and while we were at the track, we swapped out carburetors trying to resolve the issue. We swapped out the fuel pump. I swapped out all the fuel lines. Um, we dumped the fuel, got new fuel, tried a new carburetor, and nothing seemed to fix it. Um, and every session he went out, uh, same thing, cart would stumble and die. So if we go back to the last episode, I'm going to remind you of this. I've also ran the carburetor through the ultrasonic cleaner. It was sputtering at about 4,500 RPM. And that little stumble that I experienced while I was breaking the engine in translated to this on the track. And what you saw there happened every time. One thing that we didn't change at the track was we didn't try a new spark plug, which is pretty dumb. And the other thing I'm leaning towards is possibly um, a bad ignition coil. One thing I noticed in the data, you see down here I still have my CHT probe installed to the, to the case here. Every time in each session, the engine would get up to roughly 130, 140 degrees. That's when the stumble would start. Um, so the plan is, is I'm going to take this engine off, I'm going to throw it on the dyno, I'm going to do some revs under load, get it warmed up all the way up into that temperature range in hopes to reproduce the issue. Um, if the issue comes back, I'll shut it down. First thing I'm going to do is try a new spark plug. Um, if that doesn't work, I'm going to need to track down a new ignition coil and try a new ignition coil and see if we can get that, uh, that to fix it. Yeah, real strange issue guys. Something we definitely need to get sorted out before we get any further into any lash testing. Um, we want to make sure this engine's running the way it needs to be. So let's go ahead, let's get this thing on the dyno, see if we can re reproduce that stumble.
So we got one more round on the new plug, just to be sure. Alright guys, so there you have it. I officially lost an entire race weekend due to a bad spark plug. Completely my fault, uh, lack of preparation. Even though I spent 10 hours in the garage Friday, another six hours at the track Saturday, it just wasn't enough to be ready for the race on Sunday without some track time to shake this thing down. Just with uh, the pressure of it being a race day and having all the issues and all the changes we made, um, I didn't even think one time to check the, sp or check the spark plug or swap the spark plug or anything. So it's unfortunate, um, but uh, we'll definitely lick our wounds and we'll go on to the next one. We'll definitely put this thing on the track before we go to the next race, just to confirm that uh, that, that was our issue, but I'm pretty confident that we got it sorted out. So I'm gonna take my own advice on this next one. Plan your race, race your plan. Have a good time at the track.